people's life experience can be turned around in a positive way to shape what they do for the world. Professor Lee Waters, now one of the leading positive psychologists in the world, used her childhood adversity to propel her to design wellbeing programs for kids and write a book for families. As a child, you're, you're going through some pretty horrendous things. It, was that the inspiration to think, I, I want to become a psychologist one day? 100%. I grew up in a small country town. Um, I grew up in a, a family with a mother who had very severe mental illness, um, a lot of child abuse, a lot of family abuse, domestic violence. You know, unfortunately, like, like all schools, there were bullies at the school. They were bullying another girl and I stood up for that girl and probably foolishly made the mistake of saying, why don't you pick on someone your own size? <laughs> and so for six months, the, the, the six months, the final six months of my year nine, they took my advice, basically, and um, they decided to pick on someone their own size. And the final point, there was a lot of physical bullying, but the final point that uh, made my parents realise, okay, this is not actually a safe place anymore, was um, some pretty extreme physical bullying. So pushing me to the ground, kicking me while I was down, trying to pull my earrings out, trying to burn my face with a cigarette. But that's the point in my life that actually triggered an eating disorder because I had bullies at home and bullies at school. Like there was, vi there was just so much violence. The, the final factor was losing my sister to suicide. Mm, that is just heartbreaking. I never imagined, A, that I'd even kind of rise above my childhood, let alone rise above in, in a way where I've been able to, I guess, make meaning of what happened to me and, and help other people with their own mental health journey. I just thought, this is what I need to do. I have to go to university, I have to become a psychologist, and then I have to come back and help the kids like me. People say to me, would you change your childhood? Yeah, 100%. And some people say, oh no, I would never change my childhood. I'm glad I went through, I'm not glad I went through the suffering, I'm really not. I would change my childhood in a heartbeat, but I wouldn't change my healing journey. I think I've learned so much through it that I've then been able to pass on to other people. And that's why I'm here.